we're back! Hi, I'm the real Manos, and first off, apologies for taking so long to get some new videos together. It's been a crazy month, but hey, there's some craziness going on over at the CW. I'm sure you may have heard something about the Crisis on Infinite Earths miniseries adaptation of the old uh, event that kind of changed all events, and I'm really kind of in disbelief of it exists. This is an actual thing. They've gone off and done it, and it's pretty spectacular. I am here to talk about my first impressions of the trailer that just dropped a couple days ago, and I intend on talking about it here on the channel. I'll be talking about uh, the episodes. So, all right, uh, just first impressions. Um, I am pretty excited. The, the uh, logos at the beginning, which were like catered towards uh, each character, is a nice touch. And then, of course, we get our first glances at uh, some of these characters. Like we get to see, you know, Kevin Conroy playing Bruce Wayne in the Batwoman episode, and they have that exchange where they they clearly recognize each other. Uh, this is probably like an older version of the Batman she knows, uh, and he recognizes her. So that's really interesting. Also, by the way, I happen to notice Supergirl is standing right there, so it's cool that she gets to interact with uh, Kevin Conroy as a Batman. Um, and then, of course, we have basically leads up to like how important this is, that uh, universes will be wiped out. I assume this is going to be very similar uh, to the original story where that does happen. Universes get wiped out and they get blended into one at the end, and that's what I'm thinking we're going to see here. Uh, also... Uh, hey, you know, Flash and Supergirl get killed in that event, and they stay dead for a good long while. I don't think that's going to be happening here, but, like, will we see some similar sacrifices in this? And it definitely does give that approach and that feeling that we might see something like that. Uh, either uh, maybe Brandon Routh is uh, Superman, the Kingdom Come Superman, Batman, although Batman only appears in uh, the uh, the Batwoman episode, so I don't think that'll, that'll be him. Uh, of course, we get to see Smallville uh, interjected here. Uh, I assume we won't be seeing Chloe. But we definitely have... Uh, we've had word of some characters appearing that we haven't seen in the trailer. I assume they're going to... They're probably keeping those close to the chest, like Burt Ward apparently is in this, which is pretty exciting. Uh, Black Lightning appears, and this is... Uh, from what I understand, I, I apologize, I haven't watched every CW show because there's a lot. They're practically the network. Um, I don't believe Black Lightning has appeared in any of the other shows. I don't think he's uh, jumped ship to any of the other like shows or any of the events or any cameos or crossovers or anything like that. I think that's the first time, which is about time. I haven't liked that idea, although I will forgive it if they had been in advance building up to this, so I can look past it. But uh, if it was like a wrong, it's finally been righted here. Uh, so it's nice to see him involved. And I assume that's the end game haha, of this uh, whole story is to kind of make the CW shows a little bit easier to work with by having them in one universe, uh, which was the original intent of Crisis, which of course we all know worked perfectly. Um, so, yeah, I'm very curious and very excited the fact that they have taken the idea and applied it to the various film and TV versions of these characters and getting who they can to appear as alternate universe versions instead of just getting the actors to do double time. I think this is really a clever, cool idea. Uh, and also it helps, it, yeah, it helps with budgetary issues, but also... Uh, it gives you a nice visual distance between the t the uh, universes. Yeah, this is Superman, this is Superman, but he looks like this and he looks like that. That's cool. I like that idea a lot. Um, let's see, am I missing anything here? Oh, yeah. I, I'm just really impressed. I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm impressed that they're doing it. And I'm really excited and kind of rooting for them to succeed. Even, like, get close. Um... Even if they don't 100% stick the landing, I will be very kind of proud of this group uh, for doing this. Uh, this is something 
this is one of those things I never expected to see on film regarding superheroes and adaptations. So, hey, you know, you did it. Uh, very excited. So, yeah, um, I don't have any, like, complaints or anything like that. I'm very excited by the uh, the Crisis trailer, and I'm looking forward to watching, uh, how many episodes is this, like four or five or something like that? Uh, it's going to be going to be quite a show, so we'll see in about a week, I guess. And, of course, I'll be uh, talking about the, the episodes and maybe if I can arrange it, maybe I'll see if I can do like a, like a spoiler discussion at the end. All right, I think that's it. What do you, the viewers at home, think about this uh, trailer and the upcoming crisis on Infinite Earths? Let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell here at Comic Universe. Push the button, Lindsay. <laughs>